Hello, I'm Dane, and welcome to another episode of Dax Jutsu. In today's episode, I'll discuss how to filter multiple columns using a single slicer and without using a measure. So, let me show you the sample data, which is a very common one, Adventure Works Sales. As you can see, it has multiple date columns, and what we want to happen is to filter on this date columns and we want just a single slicer. So how do we do that? So we'll need a helper column and that helper column is going to be a an index column. So let's go to Power Query and add an index column. It doesn't matter if it starts with one or it starts with zero, as long as each, each record has its own index number. The next thing we want to do is after creating an index column is we want to reference that specific query. And we'll be keeping just the columns we are interested in. So we need index, order date, index, order date, due date, and ship date. And we remove all the other columns. Remove other columns. And we'll call this um, multiple dates. PQ. Okay, so that's multiple dates PQ. And then the next thing to do is to unpivot all columns but index. So as you can see, we now have a column for the attribute, which is, you can call this attribute as date category and value as date. And then we load this to our model. Okay. Now let's go ahead and create a relationship. And this is one of the scenarios wherein a many-to-many -many relationship is very useful. So, forgot to turn off auto-detect relationship, but this is not what we want. So let me create a new tab for that new relationship, and then multiple dates pq so what we want to happen is this multiple dates pq is to filter sales so we need to change this a relation type relationship type or rather let's delete this one first delete and then we create a relationship between index and index. Index, and let's choose man to man. And the reason why we're choosing man to man is because we want the relationship to flow from the new table to the sales table. So we now we now have man to many and the ensure that it flows from multiple dates PQ to, to sales. Hmm. I'll duplicate this. And let's just go for business type. And we will add those date 
columns. But they're all hidden, so let's unhide them. And one of the fastest ways to unhide them, like, you know, being able to select multiple columns and then unhide them, is by going to a diagram view or a relationship view or now the model view. So order date, ship date, and what's the other one? Due date. And then unhide. They should now be all visible. So let's date, due date, order date, and ship date. And we want those in well, actually, let's change this to a table and let's remove. Or rather, it's the best way to show this. Okay, uh, let's change the layout to tabular. And let's expand, 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 and remove the subtotals. Subtotal, subtotal. On row disabled. Let's add a grid. And let's change the date format into something that is shorter. Custom. I'll be using. Y, 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 M, 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 and D, D. Okay, now the dates are shorter. And let's add that. The data from the new table. Uh, let's change the date format in that new table to the same format. Custom. Date. We don't need the hierarchy. And use. A drop down slicer properties visual drop down or rather let's choose a vertical list and then the date category as another slicer. So let's check. As you can see, we have different dates for the order, ship date, and due date. So July 2 for the date, ship date 9, and due date 12. Now if I select July 1, there's no July 1. Now I'm selecting July 10, and as you can see, we have all the date July 10, and the rest of the dates are different. How about this, July 12? Let's see. So we have all the date July 12, and ship date July 12, and there's due date July 12 as well. So it creates, kind of creates an or filter. But if I were just to select due date, then it's, it should select 
a due date that is delightful. Okay. So what if, for example, you have a very large table and creating this date, multiple dates, PQ table in Power Query will require an X overhead. Now, there's another way to do that, but it will still require an index column. So we can use DAX to create this multiple dates table, but again, it will still require index column so now since we already have an index column on in the sales table we can just use this to create or to recreate this multiple dates pq table so, uh, let's create a dax table And new table, I'll call that multiple dates DAX. And let's start with order equals select columns. And the name of the table is sales. And we'll call this date. We'll call the column being selected as date. Or rather, let's have a category first. So, category. And we'll call this category for order, order date. And our date column would be order. Let's do this for a ship date. We'll call the ship date. And this is ship date. And the same goes for due date. So due due date and due date. And I forgot to add something. Uh, let's add index. And index is just index column. Index is very important. And now, let's Combine them all into a single table. Yeah. Order, do, and ship. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is wrong. This isn't supposed to be. Is wrong. Index should be somewhere here. Index. 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 Okay. And now let's change the format to what was that? Why? 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 M M M D D. And the same with our RP table version. We'll, this will still require a many to many relationship. Index to index. Many to many. And um, the multiple dates column to filters. Let's hide this. Duplicate this. And let's change the date to date and this one to 
value. Change this to date category. So July 12. July 12, July 12, and July 12. And I'm interested in just the ship date. So ship date, July 12. Well, that's it from me. I hope you learned something. Thanks for staying with me and have a good one. Bye-bye.